How's it going everyone? So I've been getting a few requests recently to talk more about the free trade platform and one thing I haven't done is just solely focus on the free trade platform. So on top of that I'm also going to show you my actual account so you can see on the left side of the screen we're going to be looking into how my account has been performing. But before we do let's just focus on what free trade is. Simply put, it's an application that you can download on your iOS device and I believe Android as well. And what it enables you to do is buy stocks and shares from a range of different stock exchanges. And we can see a bunch of positives that free trade provides us with. So we can see that there's at least a basic investment account with no fees attached, which sounds promising. We can also have what's called an ISA account and we can invest the 20k per year and any kind of capital gains, they are not taxed from the account, which is really good. And we can also see that free trade is also a stock broker, meaning that we are secured by up to £85,000. So if we put in £85,000 of our money into the portfolio, we are able to claim that back should the company go into liquidation. And also we can see we have a range of stocks that we can buy on the account. So we have access to the US and the UK market at the moment, and no doubt there'll be other types of markets in the future as well. Now, one of the plus points from free trade is that the customer support is really good. Now, I've spoken on several occasions to different individuals and I've always been provided with up-to-date, really fast response times and they always answer your question. So let's look a little bit more into the actual pricing tier and the different accounts that you can open within free trade. So as mentioned on the home screen, we have the ability to have a basic account and there's no fees, so no fees per month, no fees per years. So what does it mean here, free or one pound for trades? So what happens with the free trade platform is when you execute an order, you will either execute the trade for free, which means that come 4 p.m., that's when your trade is executed. So the price that a given stock can be fluctuates every second or every millisecond. So what free trade does is it bulks all those trade orders and executes them at 4 p.m. and so you don't have to pay any additional fee. Now there is a downside to that obviously in that should the stock market drop down then you'll be paying more and reversely if the underlying price of the stock decreases then you will actually be making a little bit more. So there's a little bit of uncertainty when executing a free trade but nonetheless it is still a free trade so when it talks about having a one pound trade it means that if you want to execute the order straight away then you need to pay an extra pound it only makes sense to pay that additional pound if you are buying a lot of a given stock and on top of that should price movements drop by a couple of pence a couple of pounds uh, or, or dollars then that's when you need to consider, does buying the stock at this moment in time make sense to pay the extra pound? Or does it just simply make sense to execute the order later on in the day? And then the final way to think about investment as well on the free trade platform is that you want to make long-term investments. So, you know, perhaps paying the pound up front or executing the order at 4pm, e even if the price increases or decreases in the long run that price difference really doesn't matter the price averages out in the long run and that was how I was focusing my investment initially with the free trade platform I did execute a one pound order when I brought some stocks and then I just switched to executing orders at the end of the day and that was because I was confident that the price of a given stock wouldn't drop down too significantly and in the long run I would just make gains. So that's with the free trade account. I assume majority of people would be 
using the basic account. And you can see on the right hand side here, it's just showing a bunch of competitors which all charge fees to execute a given trade. Now for those that follow the US market, a lot of the main companies, the main brokerage firms, they now execute zero trades. So I do suspect sometime in the future for such action to propagate to the UK market as well. But for now, free trade and trading 212 are the only ones that I'm aware of which execute free trades. So we can see if we scroll down on the page a little bit that we have the free trade basic, which we just spoke about. Now, confusingly, we also have what's called a stocks and shares ISA. And that is actually separate from the basic account. So we can see listed here, if you pick the basic account, that is free. And if you purchase the stocks and shares ISA, then it's free until sometime at the end of 2019, which is coming up shortly. And then you'll be paying three pounds every month. In some cases, it does make sense to pay the three pound every month. And so that will equate to 36 pounds every year. Now, I don't recommend paying for the stocks and shares ISA if you have a small amount of money in your portfolio. So looking at my account, I just have the just above the £800. It makes no sense to have a stocks and shares ISA. And the reason is that any form of dividends that I receive, any kind of gains that I make in the underlying stocks, and then should I decide to sell them, I'm not going to be making sort of 5k profit um, and so all the benefits associated with an ISA account don't even apply until I have a substantial amount of money within my portfolio. A rough number is sort of £10,000, potentially more than that. Now should you have, let's just say for argument's sake, 100k and you're well diversified then £3 a month, the £36 every year is actually really good when you look at other types of brokerage firms and other types of platforms. Generally, you will have to pay a set amount on the actual portfolio itself. One example that comes to mind is Vanguard, and I will be doing a separate video on that in the future, but you generally pay a percentage of the total amount of stocks and shares that you hold. And so as your account increases, the percentage is fixed, but you're just paying more and more each time. Whereas the free trade model, you're just paying £36 every month, and then you have a stocks and shares ISA. You have all the benefits that an ISA account includes for stocks and shares, such as the capital gains. And so one could argue that you can make a little bit more of a profit. But again, it really depends on the amount that you have on your portfolio. For any beginner investors, stay away from paying any account fees. Simply put, look into the basic account and you should be good with that. And we can see that we have this free trade alpha. Now, I'm not sure what is coming of this right now. We'll have more information in the future. So before we take a more in-depth look, at my free trade portfolio. I actually wanna talk about some reasons why I don't actively put money into the free trade platform anymore. So earlier we spoke about having an instant order and having to pay the one pound when executing the order. So that was one aspect that I didn't like of the platform. Now I do respect that free trade needs to make money and there's a whole range of ways that they are trying to achieve that. But when you look at the likes of rival companies such as Trading212, Trading212 for instance doesn't make you pay for the one pound instant order trade. Their model is slightly different, they make money on what's called the spread, so when you buy a stock you're technically paying more than the actual sort of spot rate that is listed when you do, say, a Google search to see what the rate of a given stock is priced at. And so there are two different models. You have to respect that both are making money a little bit different, but trading to one to at least from executing an instant order, it's a lot cheaper compared with free trade. And so on top of that, with free trade, they look at the spot rate, so the price, when you do a Google search on the given stock, 
and they also add a 0.45%. Now that is listed on the website down here, so spot rate plus 0.45%. And hopefully in the future, free trade can look into reducing this 0.45%. Other companies don't have that, and that will be a little bit better for investors such as ourselves from throwing away money effectively. So those were two main factors. And then to mitigate against paying the one pound, I was executing the orders at the 4pm at the end of when the market closes. Again, that was a little bit frustrating because prices were fluctuating. And although I had the mindset of investing long term, I was repeatedly making orders on different shares throughout the course. So sort of every month I was executing orders and I just felt as though I was paying more than what I needed to had I have switched to other types of providers. At the same time, free trade has gained a lot of market share. There's definitely there's a lot of millennials out there and you are free to make whatever decision you, you like. Everyone has different types of investment strategies. And so, for instance, an investor that wants to invest a lump sum of money and they execute orders so that the money is converted into stocks and shares, then perhaps free trade is a great platform for sort of a one-off investment. But just be aware there are other companies out there. I will continue to monitor how free trade performs in the future, given that they still are in the early startup stage and there's a lot of room for improvement. But there's there's a lot of individuals out there using the free trade platform and it's only fair that I focus. So with that said, I want us to just look into how my portfolio has been performing. And do keep in mind that I did stop investing lump sums month on month so the the portfolio has somewhat stagnated but if I zoom in onto the max graph we can see the staircase pattern and that was whenever I put in a lump sum of money then at the sort of the lower end we can see how there's just been price movements in the underlying assets that I brought there hasn't really been much increase so if we look at sort of the seven day performance, again, it's increased, but it's a little bit of a flat line. And just for fun, the one day performance has dropped a little bit, but no one really cares about one day performances. So if we look at the investments that I have, I, I believe one of the first investments I brought was Tesla. And you can see I'm at 39% increase, which is very large, but I just have one share in the account. The view here within Tesla just shows how the stock has been performing. Now, another negative that I have is that I'm unable to analyze the stock with the view shown here. There's no way to adjust to say the candlesticks or different views. And I also don't like the percentage numbers on the y-axis. So the plus 20, plus 40, etc because I'm unable to see exact price numbers. Of course, we have it on the top there, so $336 is listed, but I also want to see what previous values are, so such as when there are drops in the market. So hopefully, again, it's more of a feature request. Hopefully, free trade can implement that in the future, definitely possible. So let's just go back to the portfolio and look at the other types of stocks that I have. So Walgreen Boots, for those who follow me on my trading 212 journey, I also have stocks, again, Walgreen Boots. A lot of these will be quite familiar. And that's been performing well as well, almost getting close to the 6% increase. Five shares, small amount, and that will continue to fluctuate going forwards. And the same can be said with Kraft Heinz. Now, we're close to a 12% increase with the five shares. Again, performing reasonably well. Now, Intel is one of my favorite, and generally it's hard to time Intel that well recently. Um, when I executed the order for Intel, it was at such a drop in the market, a lot of negative news. AMD was... Um, gaining a lot of traction 
but it, it was a great time to buy into Intel and w- with the hope that Intel can change sort of management. So I'm almost up 30% with the two shares. It's not a massive deal when you just have two shares, but imagine scaling that to sort of a much higher price. So the only stock that is negative on my platform is HSBC and at minus 1.8%. It's really not the end of the world. It's the second highest number of shares that I hold of the 10 shares, but it's really not making a dent into my portfolio. And so finally, Lloyd's, we're at 12.5%, again, performing really well. So all in all, this account isn't really going to grow much in the future, and I'm not going to focus on increases within my portfolio. But at the same time, I have no plans on shifting the money away from free trade. As I said a little bit earlier, I do hope that they do well. I really don't mind coming back to the platform should things change in the future. But along with all the points that I made, I would like to see a desktop version as well. That would be a lot more fun to analyse and maybe in the future there will be such an application and some of the points, some of the features that I mentioned could be implemented on the desktop version. Ideally on both, but Eva would be fine in the short run. So for those who were sort of curious at my portfolio, there was a comment when I compared the free trade versus trading 212 platform. And hopefully you can see that I wasn't lying. And and yeah, I've listed, again, some reasons where I've just been unhappy with the platform and my reason for shifting. But Anyone else is more than welcome to join the platform. The more users there are, the more likely features such as the ones that I would like to see happen. So definitely do join the journey with free trade or use other investing platforms. You're completely free to choose. One nice feature that I've seen recently, and it's in beta mode, but it has a breakdown of the portfolio. So we can see that most of my money is in stocks. And that was obvious because I just had just under £9 that is available to invest. And we can also see that we've got different types. So stocks, cash, etc. And then we have the types of sectors as well. So that's a really nice breakdown to see how diversified you are within the account. And my portfolio isn't too diversified. There, there's no bonds, etc. But it's not the end of the world. In terms of sectors, there's a range, but that could be improved as well. So hopefully that was helpful for some of you. Now I will leave a referral link, as I do with most of the platforms that I'm invested in. And should you wish to use my link, you will be rewarded with a free stock up to £200. Now, so you're free to use that link if you want to. It really doesn't matter if you don't, but we will both sort of benefit from receiving a free stock up to £200. So So with that said, I will catch you in the next one.